okay guys welcome back to G automotive today I'm gonna show you a quick video on uh, how I polish headlights a uh, really quick service is I don't get too into too crazy into it uh, I use this uh, plastics polishing compound for plastics a uh, there's several products out there in the market. Uh, this is what I've been using. And it works very well, actually. Uh, there's several methods of doing this. Uh, you can, depending on how bad it is, you can sand it and polish it. You know, you can add a clear coat, which is more of a, a permanent fix. Uh, however, in this case, I'm just gonna be doing a quick uh, polishing. And as you can see, it's not too bad but you could tell the difference between here and here. And uh, after I apply this, I will uh, polish it out with a drill and a buffing pad and it's gonna look really, really good. Yeah. If the plastic is too damaged, there's nothing you can do for it. Uh, sometimes you can get a little more aggressive with it by sanding it uh, uh, several steps. You know, you start with a more coarse sandpaper and then finer and finer and finer till you get a real nice uh, smooth surface and then you polish it and um, uh, clear coat it afterwards. And that's more of a permanent fix. This will normally last good for a couple months, you know, two, three, six months, and then you'll have to do it again. It's something I do every, every time I see my headlights that are getting a little... A little hazy so I just maintain them so what I do is I uh, liberally apply the compound on the headlight Use the drill. I can already start telling the difference. I like using the drill because it's a lot easier. You don't necessarily have to use a drill. I find it way easier to use a drill. I used to do it by hand. And man, can you feel it afterwards. Once that is done, I go ahead and wipe it down with a clean cloth. I can tell this uh, this headlight is starting to get damaged on the inside. As you can see, this plastic here is starting to deteriorate. That allows moisture and and whatnot to get in there. And there's nothing we could do at that point. But you can tell the difference in the plastic. How now it's clear all across. Before there was a definitely obvious difference between this section here and the rest of the lens that's mostly because of the elements and the uv from the sun and all that it all these modern cars go through that same problem you can definitely tell the difference between one side and the other yeah. 
So now, go ahead to the next one. Repeat the process. These little buff things has, uh, you can buy a kit. I bought this one from Harbor Freight, I believe. And it comes with, uh, it comes with the pad. It does come with little sandpapers as well. The adapter for your drill. About 15 bucks, I believe. That's what it cost. And it comes with its own paste but I really don't use it I normally use this uh, this plastic it works very well I used to use blue magic that works very well as well go ahead and buff this up So it starts making like this little slush, like a yellowish. It's removing all that, uh, all that junk from the surface of the lens. It's a relatively quick job. I don't get too crazy with it. Again. It, you want to get crazy with it you can easily just go ahead and sand this down and go through those steps i normally don't do it this does a pretty good job i just repeat it every several months see this one actually looks really good it looks very good just wipe it down and that's it And we're done. Oh, look at that. That looks great. Well, guys, that's it. It's a quick video. Hope you guys like it. If you do, like and subscribe. And we'll be coming out with more videos as we go along. Thank you for watching. And uh, see you next time.